this video is going to be dedicated to this therapy session between Stevie J and Mindy. Okay. So they finally goes up to the therapist. Stevie J admits to being a liar. And uh, it took a while. And the therapist tells Mimi that men cheat because the women are lying in the cheat. And you goddamn right. You got to teach people how to treat you. If you or let show them, show them. Mm -hmm. If if you uh if you do it once, shame on you. If I keep letting you do it, shame on me. She should know better. She is enabling his behavior because she still put up with it. Twelve years. You think he gonna change anything? It's because you get mad and you get all high and some man. This that other. He don't care. He, he already know the game. All he got to do is talk sweet to you, provide you something, give you some, and you gonna be happy go lucky. He know the routine. You've been doing it for 12 years. What else do you expect? You, I mean, you allow him to treat you like a damn doormat. So and he said the root of it was because she stopped having sex with him after the baby was born? I mean, was that a bonus clip when he said that on the show? Oh, maybe I'm a bonus clip. Really? Yeah, because he... The, the, the third <coughs> see, I didn't said, see that bonus clip. The third said, what's the reason... <coughs> That you like when I stopped home why you you know doing what you do mm -hmm. and he was like well like we was like having sex like every day and Mimi, Mimi was like every day come on stop it we's not having sex no every day Stevie and he was like well almost every day then after the baby came it stopped what about the, all the other women that he has had that he has other children I guess you won't give him no sex then either because he has four other children four yeah. other Four other babies' mothers besides Mimi. So I guess they won't give him no sex either. So that's why he has to step outside of the. Well, he made sure that Jocelyn was gonna give him some sex. That's why he made her get the abortion. Oh yes, okay. <laughs> maybe that's maybe that's that was part of his fear, honey. <laughs> okay. Because he showed yeah, made sure. About, but y'all have to watch the bonus clip to see yes. what I'm talking about. <clears throat> yeah. So. Then the therapist goes on to ask them about their upbringing. And so once you get the backstory on people, you really start to understand why they act the way they act. Or do the stuff that they do. So, Mimi says that um, her mother, for years, searched for this religion, I guess something to belong to, whatever. And so she got into Scientology. Apparently, they all got into Scientology. When Mimi was 13, they tried to force her to sign a contract saying that she would only work for them. I guess when she came of age to work, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she refused, so they kicked her out. The mother stayed there and stayed there, stayed with them until the day she died. She gave up her children. Mm -hmm. She gave up everything in everything. her life for this religion, for this Scientology. I have never, I don't even know. I need to read up on Scientology. I do too. All I, I know, know is Tom, Tom Cruise. And, and Katie done left his ass. And she said but it was because of the Scientology. But it's a parent. It's a, but they say that John Travolta is a Scientology. Ma Madonna, is she a Scientology? Look, she do that Kabbalah stuff. Like that, yeah, Kabbalah. Kabbalah yeah. Okay, well, I know John Travolta is a Scientologist. We know, already know uh, Tom Cruise is a Scientologist. And there's some other celebrities that are Scientologists. But what the hell goes on in their religion? Like, what? Is this like, are they, I don't even know. I don't want to make no assumptions I'm gonna read because up I don't here. know, because I don't want to hear nobody tell me, because I don't know, so I'm not going to make no statements yeah. about it. But I, just, I, don't know it. I, I just I don't get giving up your whole family, especially your children, and for something to like make that. Them sign over but hell, sign if you, I can't even imagine that the religion would put those type of demands on the kids. How could you tell? Which a is going to result in yeah. them leaving. Like, how can you tell a mama she got to choose between her religion, the religion and, her and the children? Yeah. So. I mean, we don't got a whole lot of specifics on this whole Mimi Scientology thing, but it, it, I, it's sad. It's sad. And she admittedly says that she, she's looking for the love that she didn't get from her mother because her mother, you know, chose something else chose over her. Over the, over 
over the kids. Yeah. So she's looking, she's looking for uh, uh, somebody to love her and Stephen J. Oh, I'm gonna love you, baby. Gonna, baby you I'm ain't doing do nothing it. but using me. I'm gonna. Do you it. using me as a damn doormat? What you gonna do? Hurt nothing. me again? Yeah. So what he been doing for twelve years? Keep me looking like a, a fool. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Why she waited so late to make the have a child? I don't know. Out of fear, you know. I think at one point her and Stevie may have been like really close. Yeah, know? I believe they were. They had to have been for her to be so follow a lie over him. Mm -hmm. They had to have been at one point. So then the therapist asked Stevie J about his upbringing with his mother, or whatever. Which is oh, sad. Oh, child. Yeah, which is sad. sad as well. They it's both sad. have mommy issues, got y'all. So. Stevie J say that he don't know his mama. His daddy raised him, his eight brothers and sisters. Old. The mama left him when he was eight months eight. old. He don't know her, ain't seen her, and they never asked the daddy about her. He has abandonment issues. He has abandonment issues. But that's just, it never seemed like an even better reason why you would ne wouldn't treat a woman the way you would treat a knowing. I mean, if you, yeah. you can, if you consciously decide I'm not going to treat uh, my wife or my woman like that, then, uh, but it's like, I don't know if he realizes. Because he never had that female around yeah, him. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, I mean, like, he, the way he feels about his mama, that's pro that's how he treating women. Because obviously, even though he won't say it, he's obviously very upset and hurt that his mama abandoned him. I mean, him. he was choking up. He was fighting he was, back. Yeah, he tears. was fighting back too. Was because fighting the therapist back. brought it out. I mean, he was not that therapist. Mm -hmm. He's been around for a long time. Yeah, I saw him on other stuff. He's been around. I mean, he'll mm -hmm. make you admit to some stuff and bring. He say so. Out. You're a liar. You a liar? He's in my eye. So, uh, so you're a liar.
is invited to therapy with them. Apparently, when they got to the therapy session, and Jocelyn found out that they were trying to get back together, trying to resolve their issues. Honey, she raised her hand and no, hung, baby, she closed her, that fist. Oh, she closed her fist and, and was like, finna punch the shit out of Stevie J. So, honey, and she I was kind of looking like, who did she punch him? Like, oh, Mimi, honey, because Mimi was like, oh no, we together, we live we, together, we 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 been together for how long? Since the other night, but Jasmine don't care. I mean, she used to be in number two, three, four, five. Yeah, wherever she can she fit on care. the roster, as long as she gets some tracks. Mm -hmm. So that is it for the review. This is part three of the review, so I got three parts. Maybe if I can get it all edited down, I'll put it in two. But I doubt that's gonna happen. So thanks everybody for watching. Again, this is my Tyrone. This is my cousin Renee. Sitting in for mommy, dearest. For sweetness. <laughs> <laughs> we miss you, sweetness. Come back. <laughs> All right. I'll see y'all guys on the flip side. Bye.